everyone, welcome to Simple Hobby Homesteading. I am Jenna and we are going to make balloon animals today. Um, I've never made a balloon animal before and I'm a little scared of balloons popping um, in my face and whatnot. So it's one of those things where it's like, is this a good idea and I say yes yes it is so people come to the farm and it's a really good idea to have different stuff that we can do here to entertain them so it's not just the animals um, well actually no they seem to be always very happy with the animals and the work that I have them do and yeah I don't know I guess it's just like another thing to add to my repertoire of things that I can do um so I'm gonna learn how to make balloon animals just let me do it um wow that was really whiny I apologize so anyways so we're gonna learn how to make balloon animals but first we're also going to try, excuse me, we're also going to try a couple things. I seem to be on a Skittles kick lately, so we're going to try Sweet Heat Skittles. Um, have you guys ever tried these before? I don't think you can have these, Echo. They might have xylitol in them. Regardless, we're not going to spend the time to read the directions. Back up. Thank you. Okay, Sweet Heat. So these are supposed to be hot, like hot Skittles. Hmm. Are they hot? Hmm. We're not hot yet. Okay. Why are you smelling my mouth? They're not hot at all. Sweet heat with a spicy kick. Fruity flavors with a spicy kick. There's no spicy kick. Oh, okay, I got a little bit of a spicy kick towards the back of my tongue. Hmm, a little bit. Hi, Echo. Hey, Echo, say hi to Michelle. Michelle loves you. Yes, yeah, say hi to Michelle. Um, Echo says, hi, Michelle. If you had Skittles in your mouth, she would be all over you. Okay, I, I feel a little heat now. It's like at the back of my throat, which is an interesting place for the heat. That's interesting. Hmm, okay. Would I... Okay, so the heat is definitely like back of the throat heat, which is bizarre. Um, taste buds, when your taste buds taste heat, are those like the back taste buds maybe? I don't know because with the hot ramen, I tasted it all over. So that's interesting. So I do, I do feel the heat now. Um, not very much though. So if you don't like spicy things, but you want to say I ate something spicy, do the sweet heat Skittles. That's going to be a good option for you. Okay, and the other thing is we're going to try these Chocor chocolate bars. There's different kinds. This one happens to be hazelnut crunch because I love hazelnut. Now I know that chocolate is not going to be good for you, Echo. So back off, back off, baby. Good girl. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I do like, I do like chocolate. Smooth and creamy. Yeah, these are good. Yep, these are really good. These are yummy. I'm sorry, my phone is dinging. I'm going to turn the volume off on my phone. Um, yes, those Takur. Okay, stop smelling my mouth. I want you to see the camera. Yeah, that's a good chocolate. Mm-hmm. Typical of like European chocolate. Tastes very European, very Belgium. Chocolate. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. We are going to get. I promise. Okay, back off, Echo. I promise we are going to get to the balloon animals. Um, a couple other quick housekeeping things. The um, the videos, the part one, two, and three videos from this week that are from last week that are about um snacking through the states, Alabama. Um, surprise subscriber packages, and what was the other one? Oh, just things that I try, random snacks that I try. Um, comment on those because there's a surprise package going out on the 31st of January, and I'm picking the winner from all the comments in those three videos. Um, so you'll see part one, part two, part three from last week. Um, go back, comment on those videos if it's before the 31st of January, 2019. Comment on those videos and be a subscriber to the channel too and then um i'll pick one of those comments or one of the people from the comments and you will get a surprise package sent out to you and this one's gonna be really cool I, it's gonna be really really good it's got it it's gonna have um the apple peeler in it from the video mini apple pies so i'm finally sending out the apple peeler so go back and comment on those videos and what the heck we'll say comment on this video too um so i'll pick from the comments from this video and the parts one two and three from last week videos any one of those videos that you comment on, and if you're a subscriber, because um, I'll just pick the person from comments, and then I'll just double check that they're a subscriber, and then you're the winner. So very, very cool. And you definitely want the surprise package. It's got a ton of fun stuff from the farm on it. So, and also I need, um, 
where is it i need a couple people that i'm still sending out surprise packages from like forever ago but i i don't know who a couple of these people are and so i need to get who they are before i can send them out um one of them is mark and my bunny um that's your username which is the best username ever but i don't know who you are in real life to send your package to you that you won uh, a couple months ago mark and my bunny is one of them the other one is bb007 um, I don't know who BB007 is, and um, other than that, oh, Miriam Lawrence. Uh, Miriam Lawrence, you won a surprise, a surprise package as well. And is that the same address that I have for your last one? Just message me and let me know if it's the same address or if it's a different one. For some reason in my head, I have that you're at a different address now. Um, so just double check. Uh, send me a message and let me know. Okay, let's get into balloon animals. I have never made balloon animals before. And so I went to Party City and was looking for the balloons to make balloon animals. And while I was there, I found a unicorn horn, which has nothing to do with balloon animals, but everything to do with fun. And so um, I'm putting this on because, and next time a little girl comes out to my farm, uh, she will probably get a unicorn horn because I probably won't keep this forever and ever. But it looks fun, and I saw it, and I want it. So do you want to wear it? Well, maybe Echo wants to wear it. No, I don't dress up my dogs. I do dress up my dogs sometimes, especially for Christmas cards. I like to dress up my dogs. Um, so how do you put on a unicorn horn when you have a hat on as well? Okay, so... I just like stuff like this, unicorn horns. That's not going to work, though, because um, that might work. Eh, eh. Will, it start to, will I start talking funny? Yeah, that's not going to work. Echo, do you want to wear a unicorn horn? <gasps> nope, she doesn't. Okay, oh, I can't wear my unicorn horn. I know, I can put it on my hat. Okay, hold on. One moment. We're going to get it. Oh, folks. Oh, okay, hold on. I can just put my hat. Oh, it's elastic. We can do this. We can do this. There we go. It's just a crazy hair day today, so that's why I have a hat. Um, oh, yeah. That's that's it. That's it for sure. Sorry, Marine Corps. You're being covered up by unicorn horn. That's going to have to work. Okay, so I got a kit. I got a kit that's got the balloons. And it's got the animal kit because I am not conceptual when it comes to actually um, making anything. And so I'm not artistic at all. So I figured I probably needed a guide on what, how to make, how to make uh, animals. Because I think I can make swords, but even that, I'm like, okay, no. I remember having a sword, a balloon sword made for me when I was little. But I can't remember how to make the handle, like where you twist it and stuff. So we're just going to start. We're just going to do it. We're going to start. Um, because I don't do directions very well, um, so I'm not going to read the directions yet. We'll, if we run into trouble, we'll read the directions. So I've got a balloon here, and I'm guessing you just stretch it a little bit. We're just going to stretch it, and then you just blow it up, right? Okay, how do you blow this up? Like, it won't blow up. It won't blow up. It will not blow up. I'm going to get, like, some kind of weird aneurysm. This is not... Why isn't it working? You, you just blow it up. And this has got like a small opening, so it's harder than like the old-fashioned balloons that have like a big... I know how to blow up balloons. Mm. Ow. Okay. I've seen people stretch it out as they're blowing it. I've seen them do that, so I'm going to try that. Oh my gosh, my throat. Okay, so it came with a little blowy uppy thing. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do that blowy uppy thing. Oh my gosh, because I can't, I can't blow up a balloon. What? Okay, if if there's a trick to blowing up the balloon, please let me know. I stretched it, I pulled on it, I blew, and now oh, look at there. Just we're gonna use the cheater, the cheater. So we just blow up the balloon. Just blow it up. And I think, do you use, yes, look at that echo. Do you use more than one, okay, back up, you're in the camera. Do you use more than one, there we go, see? Ooh, I'll blow it up right at you. Look at that. Just keep blowing. Um, this is long. This is nice. It's really long. Okay, but this is good. Okay, so we're just going to keep going. 
All right, and then I'm just gonna end up tying it, right? I don't want to pop, so I'm not gonna, there we go. So I've got my balloon, looky there. Now I just tie it, right? Just tie it, ah, what? Is there a tire in here? They don't leave you much room to tie. Okay, how are you supposed to tie this? Like, cause usually you tie, you wrap it around two fingers. Oh, I can barely do it. Do balloon animal makers have like little fingers? I don't want it to pop, I don't want it to pop. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, crud, come on. Oh, so close, it's not going through. It's gonna go through, oh, come on. Mm, I'm gonna get it with my teeth. Echo staying at a distance. Okay, I got it. It's, it's tied. It's tied. It's tied. It's tied. It's tied. Okay, I have one. I think I need two. Because I'm gonna try to make, just on my own, I'm gonna try to make a wiener dog. Yeah, I've seen wiener dog. No, I'm gonna try to make a sword. A sword. Oh, I don't wanna bend it. Okay. Oh, I can't bend it. I can't bend it. Um, I have to bend it. I'm gonna try two. I'm gonna get a different one. I'm gonna get another one and put them together to make something, um, an animal. An octopus, isn't there an octopus? Isn't there like, um, I've seen balloon animal octopuses, I think. Octopi, octopus, octop, I don't know how you say it. Oh my gosh, this is exhausting, and it's a little thing. It's like a little blower upper thing, come on. You can do it, almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay, it's there. It's at the end. Ah, ah, ah. Now I gotta tie this stupid thing again. Oh my gosh. This is so, I'm so whiny this morning. Is that the second time I said, oh my gosh, like in a whiny way? Yeah. I hear my so. I agree. Ah, I feel like it's gonna pop. Ah, 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 ah. Mm, 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 mm. I gotta get it up through the, the knot through. Okay, there we go. It's tied. Okay, I have two. I have to, I'm going to have to get the instructions. I can't do this on my own because I have no conceptual creativity, anything. All right, so, oh, what is, they're cutting things. Okay, okay, we can do it, folks. Turtle, swan. Okay, so what are we starting out with the easiest? A bee, a bee, that looks hard. Um, oh, the rabbit looks hard. Dog, dog, that's what I was talking about, a dog. That looks hard. A swan, that doesn't. That doesn't look hard. Um, oh, that looks, that looks not. A bee, that looks easy. A bee looks easy, you guys. An elephant? How in the world would you do an elephant? Um, I want something really easy. Really, really easy. Okay, these all seem to have like a tail at the end. Like, uh, like there's like, it's not, the balloon's not all the way blown up. Was I not supposed to blow the balloon all the way up? Basic balloon, place the end of an open balloon completely over the nozzle of the pump. I did that. Uh, hold the balloon in place with one hand while pumping with the other. I did that. Be sure to leave space at the end of the balloon with no air in it. When you make shapes, air will be pushed into the empty, empty area. Do not overinflate. Um, yeah, I totally overinflated um, with these two. Yeah. I can't use those because those will definitely, well, let's just try it. I'm going to try twist. You know what I'm going to try to do? It? I'm going to try to like use these just to practice twisting, just to practice bending and twist. Oh, I don't like the feeling. Okay. That's a horrid feeling. That's all the instructions they're giving me. There is no more instructions. Always begin to twist your shapes at the knotted end of the balloon. Balloon sculptures are made by making bubbles of various sizes and then twisting them together in different combinations. To form a bubble, pinch the balloon firmly between your thumb and forefinger, then twist the bubble with your other hand two or three times to ensure the bubble stays in place. Make sure that your twists are all the same direction so that you won't untwist any of your other bubbles. I don't know what that means. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I pinch. Oh, I don't wanna pinch. If I pinch, it'll, it'll, it'll pop. I, can, I can't do it with the ones that are overinflated. I overinflated those. On accident. What are you guys doing, Echo? I don't know what you're doing over there. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it again with ones that aren't overinflated. Uh, yeah, because I'm never. Well, what do you do if you don't have this pumpy thing? How do you blow up a balloon without the pumpy thing? I'm gonna leave quite a bit of room at the end. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna leave like that much at the end because I don't want it to, I don't want it to pop. 
they are still nearly impossible to tie, people. Much easier, though, with room at the end. I will say that. Much easier to tie with room at the end. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it with one balloon. Um, that requires scissors of some sort. That requires folding over a parrot. A parrot in a... <gasps> I've seen those. I want that. I can't do that yet. I might be able to. Echo, get your butt out of the shot. Okay, this dog looks really easy. It really does. Um, dog one. There's dog one and there's a dog two. Oh, this is the wiener dog. I'm doing the wiener dog. Okay, my so quit. So I have, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over. Ah, ah, just folding it over. I'm just going to fold it over. I'm going to fold it over. Well, here's the problem. We fold it over and then like the ear, you can't see it. I'll get a picture close up. We fold it over, and then all of a sudden, it goes from folded over like this to having two ears and a face. How do you do that? You can't do that. They're leaving out a step. It goes from folded over to two ears and a face, like quickly. Two ears, would you twist? Ah, it's gonna pop. Oh, it's not popping. That's not gonna. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, I folded over too much. Okay. Uh, uh, I twisted. I twisted. I twisted. I don't like this feeling. I don't like it. Okay, it didn't pop. That wasn't a pop. Okay. Oh, move echo. So now I have a face and two ears. Oh, sorry. A face and two ears. Oh, look, look. I'm trying to move it. Oh, okay. I don't like the sound that that makes. Oh, there it is, you guys. Okay, I have it. I see what they're talking about. I have a face. Oh, my, I'm nauseous. Okay, breathe. Um, okay, so now I twist this back. Okay, twist this back. Twist this back. Uh, I'm trying to think. Twist this back so that the ears touches back. And then I'm going to twist there, right? I'm going to twist there to make the little legs, right? I don't like that. Oh, that's a horrible sound. That's nails on a chalkboard. Oh, oh, no. Okay, okay. Look, you guys. Look, 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 look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I have legs. But their legs look separated. Why do their legs look separated? Mine aren't separated. That's all right. My dog's going to have fused feet. That's okay. Um, so now I have to bring his back end up like this and then twist off this. Yep, we're twisting off this. Oh, twisting off this. I want to try to twist off to make the same size legs as the front. Oh. Oh, no, his butt, butt's too big. That butt's too big. Twist off there. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, folks. 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 We have it. It is. Now, there's... Their ears look separated. Their ears... Oh, look, it's the same... It's the same one that's on the front. This is what it's supposed to look like. Why? Well, how do theirs get separated? See, my legs aren't separated. They're t they're webbed. Was I? I don't know how that was supposed to work. But I did it, you guys. I have a wiener dog. I have a wiener dog, and he looks amazing. And he's long in the middle, like he's supposed to. And his ears. I wonder how they got. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. Okay, that was actually fun. That was fun. Okay, we're going to make a yellow wiener dog. I think wiener dogs are just going to be what I do. Now, I fold back. I fold back like that. Like that. I need the directions again. I fold back. Where is... Don't, don't, don't step on those over and play these balloons. I really don't like balloons popping. I just don't like it. I don't know where my directions went. Okay, there it is. Okay. So I fold it back. And then how are we... I think I need to make a twist there. I fold it back. Make a twist. 
Okay, and then, okay, can we do this myself? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there we Oh, he's gonna have a little face. Oh, no, that's not still very good. Okay, I see what we did here. Nice little, hi, honey. Okay, this one has a little itty bitty face. Okay, move. There, it's got a little, okay. Yeah, there we go. It's got a little itty bitty face. Do you see? Oh, don't step on those. My silk, don't step on those. Okay, you're seeing all my directions. Yeah, you're seeing all my directions. Okay, so it's got a little itty bitty face. The ears are kind of separated, but not really. They're not, they're separated, but they're still together. How do you get them so that they're not separated? So then I go, okay, so we fold it back and we're gonna, I don't like the twisting. What happens if this pops? Is my son gonna freak out? We fold it back, twist. Well, now I lost the, I know, hello, my ah. Okay, now I lost the, I don't know. Ah. I give up, I give up. This dog isn't gonna make it. I don't know, what am I doing wrong with that dog? I don't know, I'm bored, I wanna do a different animal. I'm doing a different animal. I'm doing an orange animal of some sort. We're going to do a swan. Yeah, that swan looks easy. I can do a swan, I can do a swan. Heck yeah, I can do a swan. Okay, so the moral of this story, guys, is it's not so hard to do them, but I have a feeling that kids probably don't want to see you, like, squirming and squeam, squeaming, squirming and, like, getting all squeamish every time you think a balloon's going to pop. Um, oh, I just don't like it when balloons pop. I don't like, oh, I don't like the sound of balloons. My soul, you're stepping on the one. Okay, bye. Thank you. Okay, now you're not sitting on my lap. I can actually see the instructions. Okay, so I have like this, the balloon is like this, and you do some sort of witchcraft apparently. No, I bring it around, what the heck? I bring it around downtown, and I'm gonna bring it around here. Like, ah, I don't like, like do I, tw I, ah, ah. no, I need more. I mean more. There, there, just like that, just like that. Okay, and this is up. I don't know where the other, I don't know where this is supposed to be. I don't know. Unless the whole thing, I'm not supposed to leave a tail. Okay, can we untwist it? Can we untwist? Okay, we can untwist. Oh, there, we untwisted. Oh, we're not supposed to leave a tail, I don't think. Okay, so, oh, I don't like squeezing. Okay, there we go. I am leaving a little nubby tail because I don't know how to not leave a little nubby tail. Um, okay, so we've got this up, which is good. Now we bring this in. Okay, so it seems that they bring this in. Oh, they bring this in. And then how? Up through. Ah! Okay. I don't like things popping. Oh, I don't like things popping. Okay, we might be done. Oh, that's enough, we're done. Okay, folks, so as usually is the case, uh, the video ran long. And so we're gonna split it up into two parts because even though it looks like um, I am admitting partial defeat, I got my wiener dog, so it's not a total defeat, but um, the orange balloon that was going to be, what was it even gonna be? A bee, was it gonna be a bee? Or a parrot or something, I don't remember. Um, exploded on me and I was just, I just needed a mental break, um, but I do, I come back to it. And so part two, you can see tomorrow and find out if I really get this epic balloon animal thing going, which um, I think would be really cool if that was the case, or if I just once again admit defeat and have just a long headed, mm -hmm dragon little face big eared thing um but yeah so tune in tomorrow for the rest of the balloon animal video with the outtakes the outtakes will be on tomorrow's video uh but you guys have a great day today and i love you and we'll see you later Bye bye Hey everybody, welcome to Simple Hobby Homesteading. Okay, Echo, you're gonna to have to move out of the way, out of the way. Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Hobby Homesteading. Seriously, just move out of the way, thank you. 
Take three. 